What is up you guys and welcome back to another video now today We're gonna be doing a little bit of land clearing It is something I've been wanting to do behind the house here for a little while because I heard there's a really really good view If you could just manage to get all these trees right here knocked down So we're gonna kind of set up some boundaries right here But as I was out here looking I did come across an old abandoned car just out in the weeds um, So as you can see it's, it's right here in front of us. We're gonna go check it out I um, may be able to get this thing running because it don't look like it's in too bad of shape. I guess the previous owners may have, you know, just pushed this thing out here and just kind of left it. They said whatever was left behind, I can have, and maybe they meant this. I don't know. So we're going to check it out. Um, as soon as I've seen it, I hurry up and started recording, you know, because I wanted to make a video out of it for you guys. So we're going to check it out. It doesn't have any wheels or tires or anything like that. It does have a motor. The doors were left open, so the interior's pretty bad. So other than that, I mean... I think if we, we may can even get the motor running that's in it. Not really sure what all it's going to take, but, I mean, we may have to put another motor. Not really sure. We'll get it figured out, though. I guess what we can do, though, is try to get this thing out of the woods. I think it's like an old Chevy Caprice, I think is what this is. Um, I'm thinking. Yeah, it's what, it, it's what it's looking like. It's kind of hard to tell in all this brush. So what we're going to do here, we're going to get this thing out. And if we can get it running, we're going to use this to haul all this wood off the property so that's gonna be pretty fun maybe we can get this thing get it running put it to work um i don't know ne never know hopefully we will have good luck with all of that so with all that being said we're gonna go ahead i'm gonna find some wheels and tires to put on this car and be kind of trying to find some of that but until then let's see if we can get the trailer back down here let's see should i get the mower and kind of clear us out a path or just kind of back you know what i may just back down here and we'll just kind of hope for the best all right, let's just get hooked up to our trailer right here. Did go and buy me a new chainsaw this morning. It's an old steel. Well, I say old, but it's brand new. But anyway, we're going to be putting that thing to work, man. Trying to get all of the trees or most of the trees cut down. Don't know how long it's going to take us, but we'll definitely give her a good try here. Let's see. Nice little patch of grass that isn't growing right there. Going to gonna have to fix that. All right, so we need to try to get back down here. I don't know how well this is going to work. You know what? We may need to come in somewhere else where it's a little bit lower. And kind of drive through all this thick grass. And I'm actually really, really excited about this. Um, I got some crazy plans for this car. Just all of a sudden had no plans of building a car right now by no means. But hey, it all works out. Let's see. Okay, so I think if we drive through here, we will be able to get to the car. All right, there's the car. Let's see, we got a tree in the way right there. I'm just going to go around it if I can. See, all these this unlevel ground back here is making things kind of difficult. All right, that should work. Okay, we're going to have to get this car out the same way we come in. Oh, man, this, this kind of... You know what? Let's get rid of this tree limb right here. Just go ahead. Go ahead and cut it up a little more here. All right, got it cut up there. Let's see kind of making it a little easier to carry get it cut right there all right should be able to just carry these all right let's just go ahead let's see i'm gonna make a little pile back here just set that right there i'm just got a long branch on you know i'm gonna cut that off all right finished getting all these pieces of wood moved over so we can get out of here pretty easily with this trailer like maneuver it so let's just kind of set that there that should work, though. Well, that was a pretty clean path now. All right, I'm hop back in the truck, see if we can get swung around and uh, get this all loaded up. All right, we have that fixed up. Now, I'm going to set up the come along to kind of drag the front around and then get the winch hooked up and see if we can manage to get this thing on the trailer, man. I might have to go grab some ramps, all that good stuff, but we should be able to manage this by ourselves. All right, we did manage to go ahead and get the car loaded up. Didn't take too much time. Wasn't too, too hard either. Hey, it is there. Oh, look at the deer, you guys. What is that? One, two, like three does right there. Let's see if I can sneak up on them right here. Look at this. I wonder how close I can get. Oh, man, I guess I spooked her. How about this one? Trying to. Oh, there's one to our left. Oh, nope, scared that one off. <laughs> Yeah, we managed to scare them all off. All right, let's go ahead and get this car into the shop. I have some wheels waiting for it, and we will get those thrown on. You guys are gonna, you guys are really gonna, I don't know, laugh, maybe think it's cool when you see the wheels I'm putting on this thing. 
All right, let's just get this car backed in right here. Just like that. I'm going to open up the shop, get her in there, and we're going to go ahead and throw those new wheels on. Now, of course, we still have to do all the engine work. I assume maybe, hopefully not transmission work. Um, all that good stuff. But, yeah, I just want the wheels on it for now just to make this thing roll a little easier. All right, you guys. So, after about a day of messing with this thing, I did manage to get it to run. It, it's still kind of running a little rough, but it sounds pretty good. You know, it does sound a lot better than I thought it would. Um, it's got these nice five-inch tips that we managed to put on. I had to go ahead and throw my Yeti cooler in the back, man. Can't go anywhere without that. Had to get the custom plates on this thing. You guys know the deal. Um, but yeah, this, I mean, very, very clean car. Managed to get it washed up. Put some LED cubes on the front there. Just kind of, you know, spicing things up. Got the light bar on the grill there. Grill mounted. Man, worked out pretty good. But yeah, we did go ahead and throw some mud graps on this thing. Off of like a 2015, let's turn on my light there. The car kind of cast some shadows. But uh, you can see we got some nice mud graps on there. It should work pretty good for clearing out some land behind the house. So I know we got the nice dually right there. But man, we're going to be using this car to do some work today. As you can see, it's got a nice hitch on it. So we're going to put it to work. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and close everything up. And we will get around back and go ahead and start working. All right, we got the trailer all hooked up. Let's see how this old girl hauls, man. See, she sounds pretty good, though. Gonna get pulled over here. It's kind of weird driving a car, man. It's the first one I've drove in quite some time. So I want to see if the car can make it down here. You know, I'm not worried about hurting it too much. So let's just kind of just go for it. Oh, man, the trailer. Oh, yep, yep, yeah. It made it, kind of. All right, so we just need to get parked right here. Go ahead and load up some of this wood, too, while we're back here. All right, man, she looks pretty good, though, I do have to say. Cut on some of the lights. So we'll have some lighting up back here. It's, it's kind of, you know, providing a lot of shade, so it's a little darker. All right, I'm going to get the trailer loaded down here. Let's see, let's get those on and get some of this other stuff cut down. And yeah, I will catch back up with you guys here very shortly. Alright, so you guys can see we're kind of starting to knock a dent in it somewhat. Um, you can see all of it looks, I mean, fairly good right here. I still got a lot of cleaning up to do. Going to get like a bush hog or something, come through here and start clearing a lot of this like tall grass and all that. Um, but I, I wanted to wrap up the video right here just because, man, this is going to be a lot of work. It's going to take a little while. But we did manage to get a pretty good load on this trailer. As you guys can see, man, we're carrying a lot of weight right here. The strap there. Just kind of put as many straps as we can on all this wood just so it doesn't fall out go anywhere once we're uh, getting out of here with everything all right looks like we got it all strapped down i'm kind of curious if we can even make it out of here with this so have a lot of stuff to get right there but in the meantime you know the off time behind the scenes when i'm not recording i will be clearing a lot of this land because i do have like i have some plans for all this back here i want to build like a four wheeler kind of like atv park back here you know and maybe open it up to the public so that's kind of what we're working on right now. So this is the start of that. All right, let's just follow our tracks right here. Just like this. And let's see, can we make the climb? We got a lot of weight. Let's see if the old Caprice could do it, man. Oh, she is. Oh, 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 we are. I think we're stuck. Let's see, maybe we can go around this way. 
Oh, it's doing a willy. All right, just got all the wood dropped off at a buddy of mine's house. He ended up wanting it, you know, for firewood and stuff. So what he's going to cut it up for. So got that taken care of. Got the trailer dropped off over at the shop, you know, the custom shop over there. Just going to leave it there because I will be needing that in the morning. We're going to park the old Caprice right here. And I think we're going to wrap up this video right here. If you guys did enjoy this, be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new. Hope you did enjoy this kind of build of this car we got some nice mud grabs on this thing got some light bars all that good stuff so we'll be doing more things with this car in the future i do want to put another engine in it make it a lot more powerful and all that good stuff so be on the lookout for that but for today we're gonna go ahead and wrap up this video like i said and i will be seeing you guys in the next one